The automotive world operates on the same principles as most other industries, in that it's ruled by the need to offer the right product to a chosen target market. There are drivers from all demographics including age, global location, level of affluence, ethnicity, and gender. While some statistics suggest sports cars attract a certain type of person, in truth there's so many variants to choose from it's not hard to find something you like. Some of these cars you like most however may have been extinct in the past decade. Here are 13 sports cars that went extinct in the last few decades, some before their time and some after. Number 13. Honda S2000 from 1999 to 2009. Like most of Honda's sporty car options, the S2000 represented a well-built, reliable, and highly customizable machine for drivers looking for a little fun that won't break the bank. After a 10-year run, Honda cited a growing demand for crossovers as the reason the S2000 was discontinued in 2009. The last iteration offered 239 horsepower from its 2.2-liter i4, combined with the high redline, shorter shift gears, and ESC. It's definitely fun to drive. Number 12. Dodge Viper 1992-2017 From 1992-2017, to the Viper was a beast on the road and the track. No less than 85 engineers were responsible for its original design, including representatives from Lamborghini who helped with the original B10. The final road version boasted 645 horsepower and you can also buy a stripped down ACR variant. This was the official track car without luxuries like AC or insulation, but it offered enhanced aerodynamics that produced 1,000 pounds of downforce. Number 11. Mazda RX-8 from 2003 to 2012. The RX-8 is the last production vehicle to feature the Mazda-built 1.3-liter Renesis Wankel Rotary engine. It was best known for offering a high power-to-size ratio, but also for being unreliable in gear and gas. Still, with this sporty styling, RWD and rear show side doors, the RX-8 became a popular tuner car with in-house designer Mazda Speed selling a wide range of performance and cosmetic upgrades. Number 10. Mitsubishi Eclipse from 1990-2012 For some reason, Mitsubishi chose to resurrect the Eclipse name in 2017 and named its new compact SUV the Eclipse Cross. The couple and convertible versions remained quite dead, however. The third and last generations were favorites for tuners and DIY racers with stock cars sending 265 horsepower to the front wheels, featuring options such as heated seats, HID headlamps, rear backup camera, and a 650 watt stereo. Number 9. Saturn Sky 2007-2010 and Pontiac Solstice 2006-2010. Essentially the same car but with different badging and body panels, Blue Chair's GM's expensive cap automobile platform cited as one of the many reasons the company declared bankruptcy. GM retired both brands completely in an attempt to restructure, but not before it offered the Sky Red Line with a turbocharged 290 horsepower 2 liter engine with LSD and stable track to keep those 18 inch wheels on the road. Number 8 Toyota Cecilia, 1971-2006 The Celica had the longest run of any car on this list, lasting 35 years and 7 generations. Now that Toyota has reintroduced the Supra, rumblings of a new MR2 in Cecilia has begun, but nothing has been confirmed. Once a very popular car, the last gen cut corners of cheap plastics, woefully underwhelming power, and almost every luxury and sport item became an optional upgrade. This was a planned attempt to attract younger US customers, but it failed. Number 7. Cadillac's XLR, 2003-2009 Iconic looks and Corvette power should have made the XLR an instant hit, but GM was facing bankruptcy while creating it. Some have placed it on their list of the worst sports cars ever made, but that's quite an exaggeration. The XLR V sports car is a supercharged 443 horsepower V8, yet thanks to the heavy aluminum retractable hardtop, it's slower than the STS V4 door sedan. Add the cheap plastic materials used in the interior, and you have a disappointing 112k car, especially when you can buy a C6 for much less. Number 6. Maserati 4200 GT, 2001 or 2007. Available in Coupe, Grand Sport, and Spider version, Forbes named the Spider the best GT for 2001 as soon as it was introduced. Sharing a 395 horsepower V8 with its Ferrari Burden, the 4200 GT offered a rare 6 speed manual transmission that allowed the driver to get the most excitement out of the engine. Interiors were adorned with supple leather and carbon fiber trim and all the latest gadgets. As with all exotic sports cars, this is the limited production run with the now iconic grid Termizzo as its successor. Number 5. Aston Martin DB7 from 1994 to 2004. 
four needed a way to rescue both floundering Aston and Jaguar brands, the DB7 was derived by heavily modifying Jaguar's XJS platform and merging a lot of technology and components from Mazda, Ford, and even Citroen. Despite the Mazda 323 taillights and $150,000 price tag, the entry-level V6 version actually became one of the top-selling Aston Martins of all time. Although the V12 Vantage with 429 horsepower is the most fun to drive. Number 4. Daimler Chrysler Crossfire 2004-2008 Which should have been a perfect combination of German engineering and American ingenuity, instead turned into a marketing nightmare. European buyers were turned off by the Chrysler name and domestic buyers by the German chassis. The SRT6 version sported a 330 horsepower supercharged V6 and crisp handling that are superior to the outgoing Mercedes SL. It's supposedly based on making it a hot commodity of the used car circuit today. Number 3 Jaguar XK 1997-2015 Designed by Ian Callum, same designer for the Aston DB7, the XK series was built to feature Jaguar's new 4.0 liter AJVA engine. High grade leather and burled walnut trim adorned the interiors, but the brand wanted you to attract younger buyers to their design. Later variants started to add performance options such as E10 supercharger and paddle shifters, and finally a 5 liter V8 with 420 horsepower. Number 2 Toyota MR2 from 1984 to 2007. Like this week, the MR2, possibly standing for mid engine, rear wheel drive, two seater, had a rather long life and underwent many significant changes. The second gen featured a 200 horsepower turbocharged engine that could propel the tiny car to a faster 1 4th mile than the Ferrari 348. The third gen was only offered in convertible format and shared many design cues with the original Porsche Boxster, but only offered 138 horsepower. Number 1 BMW Z8 from 2000 to 2003. BMW spent 6 years designing a car that could celebrate the features of the 507 Roadster. The 507 was a financial disaster for the company in the late 50s, however the fact only 252 were ever manufactured caused the value to be skyrocket, one selling for $5 million at auction in 2015. The exterior of the Z8 was conceived by esteemed designer Henrik Fisker, Fisker Karma Aston Martin DB9, and featured all neon lighting and a color matching hardtop. Perfect 50-50 weight distribution at 395 horsepower V8, it outperformed the Ferrari 360 Madina in acceleration, handling, and braking.